Isn't it so adorable? Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna finally test the hash rates of the RTX A2000. I got chapters down below. If you wanna skip ahead and see the performance that this GPU can get and what overclocks I'm using for it. Now, before we get into that, let's take a brief look at this card. Again, look at it there, it's so tiny. It's got a single fan on it, no power connectors on the top, which means it pulls everything over the riser, which you can see right there on the bottom. And flipping over to the back, there's no backplate on this GPU. And then you can see the connectors that it has on its plate right there. But that's it. Really, really simple car. There are some modifications you can do to it to get it to pull more power. And there's some modifications you can do to it to increase the cooling of this GPU just so it can run just a little bit better for you. But I'm going to leave it stock for this video. So let's get started. First up is Ethereum. You can see my Hive OS right now. I'm doing 43.35 mega hash per second, but a little bit more on that in a second. Overclocks I'm using, I have the core locked at 1100. That's gonna be true for every algorithm that I test throughout the rest of this video. And you see the memory I have overclocked way up to 3,650. The fan is at 100%, that's where it's gonna stay. And you can see the wattage that I'm pulling in line over PCIe, you can see reported above me on your screen here. Right now doing between 70 to 72 watts inline over PCIe. So the software wattage is pretty accurate, calling out 69 watts right now. But as I switch over to the shell and you take a look at T-Rex Miner here, one thing you'll notice is that that mega hash has dropped. And that's pretty much what is happening with this card as that VRAM heats up. You can see on your screen went from 86 to 88 degrees. And it started probably around the 70s. And as it heats up, that mega hash drops. And what I found is if I have the VRAM probably in the 90s, even if it's just 90 degrees Celsius, I will drop to about 42.5 mega hash on Ethereum on this card. So it only has that one small little fan, which is why you see a lot of modifications done to this card to keep it really cool so you can get the most amount of performance at it as possible. Ergo's up next. You can see HiveOS right now, 92.49 mega hash on this Autolycus algorithm that Ergo uses. Temperatures are looking really good on this GPU because that algorithm is just so kind to GPUs. Uh, fan, of course, still at 100% will be for the rest of this video. Using the same exact overclocks I was using on Ethereum, so 1100 on the core, 3650 on the memory. And you can see inline power pulling right now, 61, 62 watts. And if I switch over to T-Rex Miner here in the shell, you can see doing 92.5, 92.6 mega hash per second. Ravencoin and Fear are up next. You can see right now doing 15.3 mega hash per second on this algorithm. Uh, it's ProgPow. It's the same one that both Ravencoin and Fero use. They just use a customized version of it. Um, and you can see wattage being pulled, 71 watts, 70 watts inline over PCIe, 1100 locked on the core. And then memory had to do something a little funny, had to go all the way down to negative 200 to get the most performance I could out of this algorithm. Switching over to Hive Shell, you can see right here, again, using T-Rex Miner, pretty much lock steady at that 15.3 mega hash. Last up is Flux. This is a little bit of a tricky one. I'll walk you through it here in a second, but you can see right now doing 23.56 solutions per second, and the temperatures are looking really, really good on this GPU mining Flux because you can see the power pull is so low. Right now we're being reported 56 watts, 55 watts being pulled in line over PCIe. Now for overclock, same lock core clock, I tried going higher and what would happen is, I, yeah, I would get more hash, but then I pull more power and the efficiency kind of stayed around the same, maybe got a little worse from when I have it where it is right now. And memory, I tried going negative, I tried uh, overclock the memory and either had a negative effect or again, more power for more hash, but really just stayed around the same efficiency, maybe got a little worse. And so what I really settled on is, let me just keep the power pull as low as possible. I'll keep that really good efficiency. And it also keep heat down, which is really important with this GPU. But if you landed on different settings for your A2000s for mining flux, please let me know down in the comments section below. Heading over to the miner, I'm using mini Z miner. And you see the same hash reported here fluctuating right around 30, uh, 23 up to 24 solutions per second. So let's put all of this data together. Spreadsheet time. So take a look at all the results that I got here. These are averages over time. I did testing on this GPU for days and days and days and days. 
Uh, and what I really like to pay attention to is the efficiency numbers right here. I mean, you can see just absolutely dominates on Ethereum compared to every other GPU that I've seen out there. Um, really, really good on Ergo, Crushes, uh, Ravencoin, and Firo as well. And then Flux, it does pretty good. There might be some 20 series GPUs that still do better, but it does pretty good, but not as good as all of the rest of the cryptocurrencies that I tested in this video. So if you need it, there are the final results. Those are my overclocks uh, that you wanna use in Linux for this specific GPU. And if you have any questions about it, please let me know down in the comment section below. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I gotta get to building a rig of these because I got five more of them that have been sitting over there collecting dust for way too long. So I'm gonna get to work on that. So stay tuned for that in a future video. But for this one, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord or follow me on social media. The links are down in the description below. As always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.